Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. My name is Gabriel and in this tutorial, we are going to be looking at how we can create a website from Photoshop down to WordPress. And um, in this particular part, we are going to be making the website in Photoshop. Um, it's going to be a gym website. Uh, it's the hero section for now, so you're going to love it. Trust me. And before we dive right in, I want to give a very big shout out to everyone who has um, taken the time to support and encourage me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, we are recording 200 plus right now. Uh, I want to say a very big thank you to you all. I really, really appreciate. Okay, let's dive right into this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful web design. Okay guys, so we are going to be starting off with um, the width and the height of the document. So we're creating a new document here in Photoshop. I'm using um, Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop 2021. The CC is what I'm using. Um, we will be making use of um, the 1920 width and the 1132 height. So that's what we're going to be using for this particular document. So once you have that, every other thing is basically, uh, you know, I, I, I like using um 300 resolution and um 16 bits right here and uh, that's pretty much everything so i'm gonna hit the create button all right so here we have our blank page okay so the first thing i want to do is give my background a color and um, i'm gonna give it i already have my color set here which is zero two zero two zero two so i'm gonna hit okay so I'm I'm going to select the paint bucket tool and just you know click on it to paint the whole thing that that color I have right there. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is grab my image. I have some bunch of images that I already have right here. So I'm just going to select everything and drag them in just like that. Okay. Okay, so these are the images I'll be using for this document and um, for this website. And this first one, basically what we want to do is I'm going to click on, I'm using a Mac, so if I say command, you should know it's your own control. So I'm going to click on um, command T right here, and then I will right click, and then I'll flip it horizontally. Okay. So I'm going to place it exactly where I want it to be. And then uh, I'll just drag it up like so. Bring it around here, wherever I'm satisfied. Let's drag it even more. Okay. I think this looks good. So I'm going to hit the enter or return key, or I can just click on this check mark right here okay so with that the next thing we want to do is actually start creating this whole content since we have our background but um, before that i want to also do something um i have a stripe on the original final result if you check it you will see the stripe right um you know going from left to right or from right to left however you want to put it so with that i made use of uh um pen tool the pen tool so i'm just going to click up here and down here holding shift make sure you're holding shift so you have a straight line when you're clicking so with that i'm going to come up here where it says fill i want to remove the fill i don't need any fill then for the stroke i want to give it this color and the color code for this particular color you see right here is actually um fc 6d 2d so when i click on it let me show you i have fc 6d 2d that is the color the hex color code i'm using for this and i want to make it um two pixel wide okay i'm gonna hit enter or return right there then um i want to drop the opacity down to 10 percent 10 percent so when i click on the v key which is actually the, the shortcut for the move to which is the v key as you can see right here 
So I will be able to see the line I just created. So with this, I want to duplicate it a few more times. So duplicating it, all I have to do is hit Control J, which is Command J that I'm using, and then Command T right here to select it. And then I'm just going to hold my Option, which is probably your Alt, Option Alt, and then click on on this. Okay, sorry, let's hold the shift rather. Since we've already duplicated it, we are not duplicating it again. If you are duplicating it again, you'll be holding your Alt uh, without using the Ctrl T. But since we're not duplicating it, so we only need to move it. So let's hold the, the shift key so we are moving it straight. If you're not if you're not holding the shift key, this is what happens. So make sure you're holding the shift key so you can move it very well, like so. And then release it. Click on enter or return. Ctrl J again to duplicate it. And then Command T again to um you know mark it and so that it will be easy for you to actually move around. And then hold your your shift key while dragging again. So you're just gonna repeat this step a few more times until you're okay with what you have. So in my case, I'm just gonna do this probably uh, let's see. Um, okay. Let me see. Okay, so now I have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six lines or stripes or border or whatever you want to call it right here. So what I'm going to do so that I can have an even space in between everything, I'll select everything while this the top one is selected. I'm going to come down to the very first shape right here and then hold on my shift key and then click on the last one which is which says shape one. So with that, what I want to do is come down here and then click on this distribute horizontally so that we can distribute them evenly horizontally. And as soon as I click on that, everything readjust to even spaces in between all of them which is exactly what we want right here so don't forget we already gave the first one that we're duplicating we gave it a 10 percent opacity so we have a nice looking um, um you know uh, lines right here or nice looking background right here so the next we want to do is let's see what um the size from the left to the right and the top to the bottom which is basically the x and y axis so let's see the spaces we have for those so i right here i have um a size for the x axis which is um I, I, how i want to do this is i want to click on the rectangle to right here and then i want to move to the top layer create a new layer and what i want to do is just click on anywhere so I want to give this a width of 172 pixel and the height can be basically anything because what we need right now is just the width. So I'm going to click on um, OK. So here I want to change the color. Um, I don't want uh, a border or a stroke. What I want is the fill. And for the fill, let's give it the same color for now. So. I'm going to click on the V, which is actually the shortcut for move to. Then I want to position this right here to the X axis like this. So now what I want to do is drag in a ruler and then place this, snap it into place like that. If you don't have a ruler, all you need to do is click on Command or Control R. So to hide it, you click on Command, Control, R to display it. You also do the same. And you can actually come down to the View tab right here and then click on the rulers if it's not checked. So the next thing we want to do now is let's see our Y axis. So for the Y axis, we are basically doing the same thing, but this time around, we're giving it a, let's create a new layer first. This time around, we are giving it a height of, let's say, um, 335, 
oh sorry this is the width what we want is the height actually so we'll be giving it a height of 335 like so so this is where i want to start our content from i'm also going to give this this same color so we know what we are doing so the next thing right now i'll bring another ruler and then place it right here so basically the reason why i'm doing this is so i know where my content is starting from so this is where i want my content to start from and um, now I can just get rid of these rectangles right here. So what I want to do next is um, let me add my the nav menu right now. So I'm going to click on the T2, which is actually the, the text to right here. So the um, shortcut for that is T. So and then I'm going to click anywhere in the box. And I'm just going to type in my logo, which in this case is G Y M, which is Jim. Okay. So let me change my color for now. Okay. Let's see the white color for now. Now, what I want to do is I want to, I think, um, let me put this at extra bold, extra bold then i want to select the y in the middle and increase the font i want to increase the font of the y in the middle so just like so and now i'm going to click on this check mark let me drag it right here okay so we have our logo right now so what i want to do is click on ctrl t or command t and then scale it up a little just like so so this is how i would like my logo to look like and then the next thing to do is our navigations so the first one is home and i'll be using a font size of five oh, yeah let me say five for this and i want to use semi bold or semi bold whatever you call it um just to be clear i've been making use of one serat and this is the only font of fonts i'll be using all through this design font and uh, montserrat alone okay so i have home right here so i'm just going to hide this for now and then i'm going to duplicate this couple of times here i'm going to have about us and then the next one is going to be um experience and next one is also going to be our trainers okay so now we have all this right here so the next thing i want to do is group um you know align this um accordingly how they're supposed to be and um, i made a mistake i was supposed to you know have a ruler on this right hand side as well so let's quickly do that all right so the next thing i want to do is create our button because there is actually a button right here around this corner this right hand corner if you see the intro so there's a button right here so we're going to create the button you see right here so to do so let's create a rectangular um, shape okay so the width of this is going to be 254 why the height is just 76 
seven and six just like so and yes we are making use of our color you already have the color code so what we want to do is you can easily round this corner right here by dragging in this any of these dots you see right now and then another way you can do it uh, without confusion uh, let me make that zero so another way you can do it without any confusion is you can just come down here and this right here is the radius so you can just make it like 38 sorry 38 make sure this is selected so it applies to everywhere so as soon as i hit um my return key everything becomes just like so so that is how you get it done so i'm going to place this right about here like so and what i want to do next is make um, a text that says contact or contact us just like so so i'm going to place this here and for this i'm going to give it a six um pt so the size the font size could be bigger like that now what i want to do is align all this text closer to this place just like so so the first thing i want to do is determine where i want the home button itself to start from as in the first button where i want it to basically start from and where i want it to end so I have my starting point and then I also have the end point right there. Let's drag this out even more. So now I could, okay. So now I could easily do this. While, while the home is selected, I'll come to the the um, fourth one here, which says our trainers, hold down the shift and then click on it. So it selects all four. And then I'll just do the same thing we did for the stripe or the, the stroke you saw there, the shape for this orange shape. So we're going to click on this right here. So it spaces them evenly. And after this, we want to do the same thing for the vertical um, option right here as well. So we have a smooth and straight line going across. And then we end up with this. Okay, so now we have even, um, you know, space between all this we see right here. So this is looking good and looking nice already. So the next thing we want to do now is start. We are actually done with our the nav um, options right here. So what we want to do is the main content right now. So the first thing we have right here is um, we ain't kidding. So let's type that out. Uh. with an exclamation mark. And this also has the color, the um, FC6D2D, FC6D2D, just like so. For this, we are actually using a semi-bold here, which is fine, and a font size of seven. So I'm going to place this at the very top of this ruler. So at the very bottom, 
whichever one you see. So I'm going to make use of, let me zoom in a little bit more so it is clear. And I'm going to make use of the navigation key on the keyboard to try to adjust it properly, just like so. And then control or command zero to zoom back out. So with that, the next thing I want to write is the main heading, which is the H1 heading. Um, so we're going to say keeping fit is serious um, work. So keeping fit is serious work. For this, we have a color code for this as well, which is EB, EB, EB. Just like so. And then the font size is actually 30. And also uh, we have a letter spacing of um, about 30, 30 is fine. Okay, so this is better. All we need to do now is place it to the right spot. All right, looking good already. Um, let's give this a bold font. Like so. Okay, so the next thing, guys, is to have the um, um, the paragraph that we see that we saw from the intro, and then the little border on the left hand side of it. So to achieve this, it is pretty simple with Photoshop. Uh, we can actually do that with the pen tool. So I'm going to click on P right here. Um, let me go to the very top. Click on P and then I'm going to click once and come down a bit while holding shift. Even if I, as I'm holding shift, if I come down here and I click, you can see it gives me a straight line instead of um, coming like this. So that is why you must always make sure you're holding shift like so. And I want to get rid of the fill because we don't need the fill. What we need is the stroke. For the stroke, I'm using the same color and then I'm going to give it an eight pixel stroke. Eight pixel is fine, just like so. So this, you already get, I'll be placing it right here. So I'm going to use the navigation tool on the keyboard, the four arrow keys to actually position it very, very well. So with that, the next thing we need to do is the paragraph itself. So I'm just going to click on P and then I already have it copied. So I'm just going to do Control V to paste everything in. So right now I'm going to break it like so. And bring out my characters so I can, you know, edit the settings. So for the size, I want to do 6.5, make it a little bigger. And for the line height, let's give it nine, just like so. And um, let's give it some letter spacing as well. Letter spacing of about 60. Yep, just like that. And for the weights, we're going to do medium. So medium is fine. And then we'll try to position it to the center of this orange border we have right here. <laughs> so the last thing we want to do is reduce the opacity to about 55%. Okay, this is looking good. Now what we want to do next is the button. So for the button, all we need to do now, I think, is just to copy this that we already have right here. 
So we'll copy, we, we select both the text and the rectangle. And then while holding the Alt or Option key, either using Mac or PC, and dragging, click on it and drag it to the part you want it to be. And then release your mouse first before releasing the key. And then release the key. If you release the key before releasing the mouse, it might just move the original copy without um, duplicating it. So make sure you release your mouse first before you release the key. Okay. So with that, I'm going to position this very, very well, like so. Maybe more. Yes, something like so. And I want to change the content of the text. This is going to be get started. Try to position it to the center. And we're going to duplicate this one more time. So you select these two again, hold down your option or Alt key, drag, click and drag like so. And then release again. So, but for this part, what we want to do is, um, you know, change the color of the background and then the text. So for the color, we have a dark color of um yes this this one i guess no okay we have a color of one f one f one f it's really straightforward so we get this um dark color that just separates a little bit from the original background and for the text all we want to do is right there um just want to say preview like so just like that guys we are officially done with this particular design right here so as you can see it is very very simple and easy to craft out so i think the, um, the, the the difficult parts for you might be the wordpress and yes that reminds me if you want to see this design um if you want me to make or create this design also using aside from wordpress also using html css if you want to see this design please leave a comment in the um comment section below and i would um, if i get a reasonable amount of people requesting for it i might as well put it up for you guys using html and css but i'm definitely doing the wordpress tomorrow so stay tuned subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and i'll see you very 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 soon thank you